There's an awful lot to think about when choosing a company name. And you might think that you've just come up with a really great name and that's enough, but that's far from enough. There are certain legal risks involved in naming a company without doing some key checks. So the first check you need to do is if that company is already registered on company's house or similar. It doesn't matter if you're a sole trader. If you end up using the same name as a registered company, they could have a legal right to come after you and ask you to stop. So doing that check is super important. The next one may be even more so. It's checking the Intellectual Property Office for registered trademarks. Now you can look for local or global in case you may plan to expand internationally, but a registered trademark would be something that would mean you may not operate with that name because the person who owns that trademark or the company that does could come after you and ask you to cease and desist and they could even send you a very large bill. Using a name that is too similar to another trademark is also risky because there is a case called passing off where if your brand is too similar in look or name to another then the original brand has the right to claim that if you've caused confusion to their customers they can have you shut down. The next consideration is about your future online presence. So you need to investigate domains. Are domains available in the name of the company you want? And are there some domains registered which might be similar to your company name? And you need to check if so as to what's on those. Is that going to detract from your potential future search? When you've found domains that are available and suitable, then I would urge you to register them as soon as possible. Then look to social media accounts too. Find them in your company name or the name you'd like to use as your ID and register them across all platforms, whether you intend to use them or not. The reason for this is it stops something known as brand squatting, where somebody spots that you've opened a new company name and quickly grabs social accounts or other domains and then could approach you to ask you to buy them for a ridiculous amount of money. Or worse, a competitor could own one of your identities and act negatively towards your brand. And unfortunately, this does happen. So when starting a company, there's a fair bit to consider other than just a catchy name. But if you follow these four steps, then you'll be pretty good.